Welcome to day 12 of the Meditate to Elevate program. <laughs> I hope you'll be having a wonderful time. Today's text is from Psalm 16 verse 6. The Bible says, the lines are falling to me or the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good heritage. This message today is titled, the good life is mine to have and enjoy. You know, this particular passage of scripture was penned by King David and was talking about how God has given him large portions of inheritance and he was so grateful to God for it. And from this, we can see that God delights in us to prosper. Specifically, God delights for us to live in beautiful surroundings and elevated dwellings. A core necessity of life is to live in beautiful and peaceful surroundings. An environment devoid of penury, an environment devoid of wranglings, an environment devoid of negative vibes. Essentially, a secured and prosperous habitation. God delights to give us beautiful habitation to live in and even landed properties that we can be delighted in. Now, if you are believing God for a new home, a better habitation, expansion in an already existing possibly property portfolio, you can use today's text to believe God for that. But not just an environment, just any environment, but a peaceful and a better one. But please don't forget, the Lord himself is your ultimate habitation. Are you ready to take this into context and step in to meditate to elevate? Let's go. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Last time. Out. Now, step into the theater of your mind. Imagine that you are living in your ideal home. Paint the pictures. How big is it? How wide is it? What are the colors of the walls? Do you have a garden? Is it well manicured? Do you have a fountain? Do you have a swimming pool? Do you live in a ranch? Paint the pictures as wide as as big as you want. Essentially, it is your dream. It is what you have thought about, what you have dreamt about, what you have fantasized about. It is a picture that comes to your mind that never lets go. Imagine you are living in that ideal home right now. How will you feel? What will you be doing? What is the atmosphere around this ideal home that you want? Paint the pictures. Step into the story. Enjoy it. Live in it. Go through the length and breadth of this property that God has given you. Please don't hold anything back. Look at the way everything around the house or the home fits together. The color combination. Even when you look up in the sky, how does it feel like? What does the environment feel like? How does it feel like? What does it tell you? Revel in this peaceful atmosphere that surrounds where you live. Now, imagine with me that you are you suddenly find yourself in your study in this wonderful home that you have painted in your heart. And you find yourself pouring over the maps of the world. Notice the little green pins on the, on the maps dotted all over the place. You know what those are? Those are your landed properties all over the world. Remember, it's up to you. You might have one, you might have two, you might have ten. It's entirely up to you. You can paint the pictures as much as you want. Now, as you look at these green pins all over, dotted all over the world, allow a sense of gratitude to wash over you. Why? Because now you are seeing that each one of these properties is serving somebody somewhere, is providing a beautiful home for someone, or is being used by companies, or is providing food. Maybe some of them are being used for farms, whatever, you know. Just be grateful that God has given all of these things to you so that you can use them to serve him to the glory of his name. Allow a sense of gratitude to wash over you as you mutter these words. 
the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yeah, I have a good heritage. Let's say that again. The lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yeah, I have a good heritage. Now, I got a question for you. How easy was this exercise for you? Was it easy? If it was easy, thank God for it. And I want you to continue doing this exercise. Because as you do this exercise, it will paint pictures and pictures and pictures in your heart to the point where you are able to then act decisively based on the image you have heard in your heart towards this vision. Now, if it was difficult, why was it difficult? Was it because you have been told prosperity is not for Christians? Was it because you are having a mental resistance to this image? Your heart desires it, but your mind is telling you it is not possible. If that is where you find yourself, Ask God for help. Ask God for help. Ask him to help you to dream big. Ask him to help you to remove things in your mind that might be slowing you down. That might be telling you stories and lies that God doesn't want you to prosper. Now, there are a number of scriptures that I want you to read. Psalm 16 verses 5 to 7. Psalm 35 verse 27. 3 John verse 2. Proverbs 13 verse 22. Um, Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. Read these scriptures, ponder on them, meditate on them and vocalize your prayer. God bless you and I'll speak to you tomorrow.